take your hands out of your pockets for my safety? I don't have any weapons on me. Sir, can you? Okay, can you can you check them? Because I don't know. What you cannot just going. check me. You can't sir? do that. You can't go sir? in my pockets. I don't consent to searches or seizures. Take your hand out of your pockets, so I know I'm safe. Take your hands out of your pockets. It's a safety concern for me. See how ridiculous it sounds? Okay, sir. Gotcha. You're here to protect and serve the public, correct? Yeah, I'm serving and protecting them from you. Fr from me? From okay, a camera? Well, this is private property, sir. This is not private property. This is private property. This is not private property. Is not private property. They don't want you on the property any longer, or you're causing a disturbance to the business and what they're doing, you're going to have to go. Sean, I don't know about your 10 followers or whatever you have on your line. Your tens and tens of followers. My tens and tens of followers. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today we're at the Rahway Police Department and City Hall here in Rahway, New Jersey. We're here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. So before we go inside, this is a follow-up video to the previous video I posted at the Motor Vehicle Commission here in Rahway, New Jersey, where we all saw Sergeant Dayon as well as Officer Maloney and Officer Withers, completely ignorant of private versus public property, escalated the situation and were so unprofessional and tried to mock not only myself, but each and every one of you out there. We the people are more than tens strong. We are hundreds of thousands, if not millions strong. And we proved that here to the city officials here in Rahway Police Department. They have issued public statements, but we're here today to file a formal complaint against the officers involved, request the body camera footage, follow up with the mayor, as well as the city officials here, do some open records requests. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're just getting inside the Rahway Police Department here. To our right, we have the Records Bureau, and then the front desk over here. Over here, really quick, while we're waiting for someone to make contact with us, policeman's code of ethics. As a law enforcement officer, my fundamental duty is to serve mankind, to safeguard lives and property, to protect the innocent against deception, the weak against oppression or intimidation, and the peaceful against violence or disorder, and to respect the constitutional rights of all men to liberty, equality, and justice. I recognize the badge of my office as a symbol of public faith and I accept it as a public trust to be held so long as I am true to the ethics of the police service. I will constantly strive to achieve these objectives and ideals dedicating myself before God to my chosen profession, law enforcement. I mean, it sounds good, right? Let's, that's not what we encountered the other day at the MVA here in Rahway. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Hi. I'm, I'm here to, I want to speak to somebody from Internal Affairs or a supervisor in order to file a complaint. Okay. Um, dude, like on an officer? Yeah, on several officers and a sergeant. Okay. Um, someone from Internal Affairs you want to speak to? Yes, if, that's, if they're available to speak with me or a supervisor. That I can that can take a, a formal complaint. Okay. Um, just give me one minute, okay? Sure. No problem. Yeah. Just sit tight for one second. No problem. Take your time. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. Hey. So, I have, what I have here, I have internal affairs report forms. Okay. Okay. You can fill these out. Um, I'll give you three of them, even though it says for multiple officers. You could put them all on one thing. Perfect, yeah. But I'll give you three of them. Um, you could fill them out here, or you could take them with you and bring them back. And then uh, they get submitted into Eternal Affairs. We punch a case number on it, and they get submitted and investigated. Okay, and um, also I wanted to do an OPRA request. How would I go about doing okay, that? The OPRA request goes through the records window. Records window? Yeah. Okay, so I can fill this out and... And you are, sir, your name and badge I'm number? Lieutenant Sidon. Lieutenant Sidon? Yes. Okay. And your badge number, Lieutenant? 162. Okay, thank you. And I'll send these back to you, Lieutenant, when I'm finished? Um, you could submit these to any supervisor. Okay. Like if, if, if you 
Or if you take them with you and come back? I th I'm going to fill them out here. Okay. I'll be here. Okay. Thanks, Lieutenant. I'll you fill them out. Do you paper, you think? Or? Um, no, this should be enough. More than okay, enough. Right thank you. Paper, yeah. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Lieutenant. Thanks. So right here we have the internal affairs report form that we're going to be filling out for each officer. Let's fill that out. All right, so you guys can see here, internal affairs report form, person making report is optional but helpful. So that's a good thing. You can make an anonymous complaint against the law enforcement officer here, which is very good. I know a lot of law enforcement agencies require that you identify yourself or even provide identification. So to make an anonymous complaint is very nice. Obviously, we are not going to make an anonymous complaint. They already know who we are. So let's fill this out. We have our trusty Long Island Audit feather pen here, which I love to use to do my open records requests and fill out these complaint forms. So I'll fill it out, and then we'll submit them and do our open request. And then we'll head over to City Hall. All right, guys, so we just finished up the internal affairs report here. Hey, how are you, Sergeant? Good, sir. How are you? Um, are you going to take this complaint from me? Yeah, I'm Detective Sergeant Mezzi. I'm going to be doing the internal affairs investigation. Oh, nice to meet you, sir. Uh, you're the email... Sean Reyes, right? Yeah, Sean Paul Reyes, sir. Okay. Did they give you an information sheet? No, they didn't give me any information okay, sheet, this sir. this is an information sheet that's, that's going to go along with the complaint form that you're filling out. Okay. It has my contact number and information on there, right? Perfect. So this is basically just a... Tells you exactly what's going to go on yes. as far as how do you file a complaint, what goes on after you file a complaint. It is unlawful to provide information in the matter that you do not find to be true. Okay, so we have a citizen complaint information form here. Um, and you were already assigned to this incident? Yes. So there was, um, were you planning on reaching out to me personally or? Yes. Okay. I'm glad you came in that way. Now I have your contact information. Perfect, yes. Could I can I take a look at the form? Yes, you can take a look at it right here. Oh, that didn't go all the way through. Um, do you want to provide me with a phone number or email that I can contact you at? Yes, you can. I put my email there. Oh, okay. All right. So email is the preferred method of contact? Email is perfect, yeah. Okay. Or or you could take down my number as well. You could, you could if you want to take down my number. And the video that you're referencing is, is the YouTube video? The YouTube video, correct. Okay. Um, if need be, would it be able, would you be able to provide me a physical copy of that? Sure, yeah, that's not a problem. Okay. So what I'd like to do is do a formal interview with you at another time, if you're okay with that. That's fine. Would you like to do that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, what's, what, how would you like to do it? We could do it in person or on the phone? Um, we can do it either way. We can do it in person for transparency purposes. I, I'd prefer to do it in person. Okay. All right. So I'm going to contact you and we'll schedule this. Perfect. Um, do you have any questions for me? Um, only how do I go about uh, obtaining body camera footage? Would that be through the records? Through the records bureau, you'd have to do an OPRA request. OPRA request, right. Open Public Records Act. Yes, it's in New Jersey. And uh, you'll contact me for a further interview. And um, you have my number. You have my email. And obviously, the officers involved are apparent from the video. Yeah. Um, officer Maloney, Sergeant Dan, and you wrote an unidentified officer, which I'm assuming is Officer Withers. Officer so, Withers, yes. I, I was looking for his name. Officer Withers, yeah. I'm going to send you an acknowledgement letter. Okay. I'll send it to your email. Perfect. Basically, it'll state that we have opened an internal affairs investigation. Uh, you'll be notified of the outcome. Perfect. Right. And we'll set up the interview. All right. Thank you, uh, Sergeant Mezzi. M-E-Z-E. -E -E Thank you, Sergeant Mezzi. I appreciate your time today. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. All right, guys, let's make our open records request here. Hi, good Hi, how are you? Can I get an open records request form? Thank you so much. Can I make multiple requests on this form, or what I need? I can make multiple requests on this form? Okay, thank you. All right, guys, so here is the Rahway Police Department Open Public Records Act, a.k.a. OPRA, request form. We'll be filling this out and handing it back to yes. the yes. Records Bureau over here. All right, guys, so we just filled out the Open Public Records Act request for the Rahway Police Department body camera footage 
from the incident that occurred at the MVA, as well as I will be requesting Officer Maloney's prior body camera footage one month at a time. So I requested the last month. We're going to keep going back, and we're going to review all her body camera footage. I'm a man of my word. I told her that I do not believe that she has not done this before. I totally believe that she has done this before. She has been unprofessional, given orders, violated people's rights. So I'm going to go through in her entire body camera footage history, myself, every minute to make sure that she is acting accordingly as a law enforcement officer and honoring the oath that she took to uphold our rights. So let's submit this open public records request form here. Oh. Hi, ma'am. I have the form completed here. So there's just two things that I want. It's one month of body camera footage on the bottom for Officer Maloney. I put the dates there. And then the other one is for an incident that occurred on April 26th of this year. Okay. For those three officers that I listed. No problem. So this is your email? That's my email. Okay. So a lot of the, a lot of the videos will be digital email to you? Or Perfect. Or call or give it to you in this. I'm not sure. Okay. That's fine. Okay. But all my contact information is there that's if they fine. have any questions. Any, any issues, we will call you or email you. All right. Thank you, ma'am. No I appreciate problem. it. Have a great day. Okay. In my state, I, well, for, those who offer five business days but we may need an extension okay because video it's not it's under review or, okay. okay no problem no problem i'll speak yeah, with them so as of now five business days after five business days we'll call you all right thank you time. all right thank you ma'am have a great day all right guys so while we're here in rawway new jersey specifically here at the Watt rawway police department let's do an audit Let's head over to the Rahway City Hall. Let's see if we can speak to the mayor and see if he has any thoughts. Hey, how are you, sir? I'm up. Um, I don't need any help at the moment. Thank you. I appreciate that. So we have over here to our left the city railway tax collector. Actually, I do have a question, sir. Where would I go and do an open request for the city? So, the clerk's door, office? Second door. Anyway. Second door. Thank you. All right. So... We will be going to the city clerk. Here is our friendly reminder that they're always recording us. Even though it always seems to be an issue when we record them. Let's hope that's not the case here today. Revenue and finance over there. A lot of friendly reminders just in this hallway. That they're recording us. Hey, sir, how are you? I would like to do an open records request for the city. Here's the form. Uh, fill out page one. Uh, page one, just write down what you need. Give it back to me, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll email you the information. Probably. Perfect. Okay? Perfect. All right. Thank you. All right, guys, let's fill this information out. Done. Yeah, awesome. just the first, last names, titles, and salaries yeah, yeah, of just, all yep. employees, so and then email, that's the email. Was great. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll email that to email Sean Paul Reyes 91 at Gmail. Yes, sir. Great. Right, I will date stamp this. Thank you so much. What's today? May 3rd. There you go. Okay, we'll get this to you shortly. Thanks Thank for you. By. You have a good afternoon. You too, sir. Take care. All right, that was a pleasant experience at the city clerk's office. Let's take a look around the rest of City Hall, see if we can make an appointment to speak with the mayor. So on the second floor here, we have administration, mayor's office, business administrator this way, code enforcement, engineering and land use, health, redevelopment agency, and tax assessor. Hi, ma'am. How are you? How can I help you? I was looking to see if I can make an appointment to speak to the mayor. Uh, give me one second. Sure. Friendly reminder that Hi, they're always recording us. 
Hi, ma'am. How are you? Good. How are you? Hi, my name is Sean. I'm looking to see if I could speak to the mayor, make an appointment to speak to him regarding the incident that occurred. What's your last name? Last week. Reyes, R-E-Y-E-S, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm an independent journalist from Long Island. My company's name is Long Island Audit, Inc. Okay, and explain to me what kind of appointment you're looking for. So I was looking to see if he would... I wanted to discuss with him the... I was part of an incident um, that occurred at the MVA. At the what? At the MVA in in Rahway. Um, I'm sure he's aware of the video. He issued a statement online. Um, So I was just wondering if he would like to speak to me regarding that incident involving the Rahway Police Department and um, how we can move forward and fix things going forward regarding that incident. Okay, so what I have, and then I'll give you a call back just to confirm and to see how we can move forward. Okay, okay great. I'm, I'm available by phone or I can travel down here for an interview. Okay. For, so whatever works for him, okay. if, if he's available to speak on it. Um, just because the citizens have a lot of questions in Rahway and across the country, for sure, okay. right, regarding that good. incident. Thank okay. you, ma'am. you mind if I get your name so I know I spoke to? My name is Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. And you are? I'm his confidential lead. Oh, thank you, Catherine. I appreciate it. Have a great okay. day, okay? Right, Take no care. Problem. Take care. Have a great day. Good Hasn't problem. been any issues, so we're going to be getting out of here. All right, guys, so we're just getting out of the Rahway City Hall as well as the Rahway Police Department here in New Jersey. I have to give credit where credit is due. Every single public servant that we've come in contact with today from the Rahway Police Department to the City Hall. They have all been respectful, cordial, and professional in dealing with me and my complaint and my Oprah requests. Just respectful of our constitutional rights. No one has tried to violate our rights here today. I don't know if that is normally the case here in the City of Rahway. I've received many emails that would allude that that is not the case. And my own prior experience at the Motor Vehicle Commission would suggest that is not the case. But we the people, 530,000 views on the latest video at the Motor Vehicle Commission, maybe that is what educated the city officials here in Rahway of our constitutional rights and to treat us with respect and professionalism. There is an open internal affairs investigation before I even filed my complaint against the officers involved. There is a public statement by the mayor on the Facebook page as well as the website. So they are looking into the matter. They, they actually have forwarded the matter to the Union County Prosecutor's Office as well for a review. So that's good. A good and thorough investigation is what we the people want. We want accountability because Officer Maloney, Sergeant Dayan, and Officer Withers' actions that day are unacceptable, completely unacceptable. And that's why we're here, right? We are here to follow up, to file formal complaints, to request the body camera footage from that day and I promised Officer Maloney I would review every minute of her body camera footage because people have emailed me saying they've dealt with her before and she acted the same exact way. And I had no doubt of that. I have no doubt that that's how she treats the public on a regular basis, camera or no camera. So we're going to go through her entire body camera footage history. As long as she has had a body camera, I'm going to be requesting that footage little by little and reviewing it. And I will be keeping all of you updated. I am a man of my word. Now, as far as the complaint, the detective sergeant we spoke to, as well as the lieutenant, were very respectful. They took the complaint seriously. They're going to set up a interview for me to speak with them. So we will be speaking with the law enforcement officers investigating the internal affairs complaint. I will be recording that, so stay tuned for that for transparency purposes. Now, City Hall, we did our open records request with the city clerk. All went smoothly. We even set up um, an appointment to speak with the mayor. We haven't set an exact date. I hope he speaks with me. He has issued a public statement regarding this incident. I hope that in order to bridge the gap between the city officials here in Rahway and the public, not just here in Rahway, but across the country, that he elects to speak with me, whether it's on the phone or in person, I'll make the trip out here. It's very important for transparency and accountability purposes. He is the leader here in the city of Rahway, elected by we the people here in Rahway. So I hope that he takes that seriously and that he does not hide behind his desk 
and he does the right thing and comes forward and speaks to us so that way we can bridge the gap and we can put this behind us. You know, mistakes will be made. It's how you handle the mistakes after. For example, what happened in Danbury was horrific and their response after was horrific. Let's hope that's not the case here in Rawway. doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. They treat us with respect here. But you guys know I have to follow up. So stay tuned for further follow-up, the interview with internal affairs that we will be doing. And any other updates, there are news articles that I will link in the description below of this video. So check those out. The news, the local media here have been covering this incident. Thanks to you all. We the people. Appreciate you guys. I'll also link the original video if you haven't seen it. Follow-up is key. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.